Hi Virgo. Welcome to your tarot scope and astrology scope for the month of December. Jupiter has now entered Capricorn fellow earth sign energy for the next year from the 2nd of December 2019 right up until 2020 December 18th. Lovely. What a great place to have Jupiter for you. I think when Jupiter is in your element, you benefit the most. They say when Jupiter is in your sign, you benefit the most. But I think as a fellow Earth sign, you're going to feel this quite intensely. Particularly because, Virgo, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Particularly because it is in your creative sector. It is in your fifth house. It is in your romance, your pleasure, your creativity, your children, your enjoyment. All the innocent and lovely things that bring us joy simply. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Taking your commitments quite seriously. As you usually do. For a lot of Virgos, this looks like finally moving forward in a career matter. King of Swords. For a lot of you, it could quite simply be joining the police, joining the armed forces, dealing with somebody in the armed forces, dealing with someone in positions quite high up in law, legal documents. A lot of you are upgrading your energy. You're moving from an apprenticeship. You're moving from an emotional immaturity to something strong, stable, and very much what you seek, which is analytical and clear. With Jupiter now in Capricorn, you feel like your luck is about to change. And if you don't feel that way yet, you will. The full moon in Gemini. The full moon in Gemini triggers your career sector. I think a lot of you have had enough of something. I think a lot of you have had enough of the way things are run where you are, or the way things are delegated, or the way things work. It feels like you're just tired of the same old, same old, and you believe more in yourself. And you should. King of Pentacles. Two kings side by side. You know you have a sharp mind. You know you're clever. Virgos are cleverer than most sign. Most signs. King of Pentacles, you're good with your practical matters too. You can see the finer details. You're interested in getting a new watch. You're interested in getting a new car. You're interested in getting a new suit. You want to upgrade your energy, but yet you still feel those little restrictions by Saturn. Saturn also residing in Capricorn and Pluto. But with Pluto being there, Virgo, What you resist can get bigger. Uranus is also in an earth sign. Uranus can make you feel quite anxious because it's making you think about the bigger questions. You're starting to think, yeah, there is something more to this thing that we call life. But that full moon in Gemini is going to push you to change something in terms of the way other people treat you and view you, particularly in career. But in general, Virgo, how you are perceived matters more than ever to your heart and you want to be perceived like this king of pentacles not this knight of pentacles and the way you get there is by leaving something behind be it an attitude be it a job be it a relationship be it a way you speak to yourself be it a way you interact with others couldn't help but notice the three of swords there and the two of pentacles. No love can succeed under constant scrutiny and perfectionism. It can be tough being a Virgo. Ten of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. And yet, as we move into 2020 and we move into Capricorn season, it all becomes clear. 
sometimes when you want to be the best version of yourself, you have to let some things go. You have to let some things slide. You have to be more direct. You have to speak your truth. Mercury enters Sagittarius in the ninth, and no, that's not necessarily so comfortable for you. It makes you not want to speak your truth because Mercury in Sagittarius does embellish things. You're kind of quiet right now, but you feel like you want to speak. Eight of Pentacles. You kind of want to speak about what it is that's bothering you so much. I can see that much. You kind of want to speak about that dream. You have an idea. You have a plan. You have a drive to see something change, and yet you are tired and you want to retreat. For a lot of Virgos, there is a pain here. And the reason that it is painful is because you haven't yet pulled out the sword. You're still living in it. I think it's happened, but I think you're oscillating in your mind back and forth between what it is that happened and what should have happened and the way you handled things. And you're getting so locked in your own considerations for things. You're, you're overthinking as usually you do. But what's beautiful about this is that in the midst of the Ten of Swords, because the Ten of Swords is quite cathartic, it's very much like acupuncture. It's that pressure point. It's that release, I think. And to see a Ten, to see a Ten of Swords of mental anguish, of feeling lethargic, of feeling distraught, of feeling down, of feeling tired, of feeling weary. To see that followed by the Ace of Pentacles, this magical offer as it always is. It is more than a seed. It is an offering that is joyous. To see that come in in the midst of all this is quite something. And what's so fabulous about the Ace of Pentacles is that it's followed by the nine and the eight. Very abundant, wouldn't you say? Very showy and yet humble. That's Jupiter. Jupiter, wide, expansive, benefic Jupiter in modest, pragmatic, hardworking, Capricorn. Jupiter has a gift for you this year and it comes in whatever it is that you hope it does, be it romance, be it a baby, be it a home, be it a car, be it that watch, whatever it is that you just so desperately want. But it requires some adjustments to get there and that's kind of where you are in December, Virgo. I think the way that people are I think the way that people are speaking to you or running things is really irking your progression. It's challenging the very things you believe in, you know, logic and reason and having a practical answer for everything. You're now starting to wonder if your practicality is actually disabling you a bit because you can't there are some things in your life you simply can't rationalize and they're going to require a belief in something you can't see. And it's when you let go of the very, the very strong need to reason every little detail of whatever it is that's troubling you is when there is an offer. For a lot of you, it is a job offer and I think it allows possibly more creative control. I think it allows more um, flexibility. I think it allows your mind to work better. I think it gets the best of you. I don't know that where you are at the moment is getting the best of you. I don't know that you're growing the way you want to. And if you are in the right environment with the wrong people, 
I think the best thing you can do is focus on your peace of mind and stop engaging with their more hysterical tendencies. Do you follow? Romantically speaking, I think for a lot of you that are single or dating, you're finding that it's a troubling, repetitive pattern of game playing and confusion and just sort of, it's troubling you, but I think that improves quite a lot as well. Una, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. You can't see that. Let's see. There we go. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yemanya, a golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Work through them. Walk through them. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense with the Ace of Pentacles. There is an opportunity presented to you. A golden one at that. And that's funny because this is coloured gold. That makes a lot of sense, Virgo. That full moon brings you something. And let's not forget that Mercury is, of course, your ruler. And it rules both your sign and Gemini. So the full moon in Gemini is particularly interesting for you. The moth and the crow. Again, the color gold is coming through quite symbolically here. Something golden is appearing for you. And I think, Gemini, it is something that you're very drawn to, like a moth to a flame. Something piques your interest. Something intrigues you. And I think you're going to go for it by the end of the month. In the mid-monthly reading, we're going to talk a lot about Venus moving into Aquarius, the new moon solar eclipse, which is so auspicious for you. So incredibly auspicious. I cannot wait to do the mid-monthlies for everybody because they're so lit up with cosmic magic. But before we get there, Jupiter trines Uranus in the 15th. For a lot of you, an opportunity for love or an opportunity for travel or an opportunity for work, there is just simply around the 14th, 15th, 16th, an opportunity that is important for your growth, for your expansion, for your forward momentum. And I think it's pretty special. So if you want to join me in the extended, it's going to be linked below. If not, Virgo, I will see you in the mid-monthly readings going into 2020. Love you very much. Take care of yourself, Virgo. Bye-bye.